What you have just witnessed was a dramatic reenactment of an event that turns an inbox Funko Pop collector's blood cold. And it happens to the best of us. You order a pop online and you hope that it will arrive in great condition and what you end up with is trash. Just a mangled corpse of a box. And like I said, that was a dramatic reenactment, so nobody panic. Okay, I do have that actual figure in a very nice box, and I just happen to have an extra box from a custom figure that I received. So, no pops were harmed, and no pop boxes were harmed in the making of this video. Again, people, dramatic reenactment. And you also are just seeing here my new horror setup, which I will go into greater detail with once I do my full collection video. So please stay patient people, I will get to that. But what I must do in this video right here is call out a company whose name has struck fear into the hearts of many collectors, at least since I have become a Funko Pop collector. And that company's name is Pop in a Box. Now I know, I know, there are some of you that are new to collecting and you wonder what could be so bad about pop in a box? They sound great. Yes, they do sound great on paper. You get pops that you want delivered to you every month. You don't have to do all that hunting, running from stores to stores. It sounds like an absolutely amazing service and it could be. Here's the problem though, people, just like you saw in that dramatic reenactment, I have seen that happen to many collectors who have ordered with pop in the box. And it goes even beyond that. What you saw in that dramatic re reenactment was actually not too bad compared to what has happened to some collectors, including one man who I must shout out and give props to, Maximus Batson. He had an absolutely horrible experience with pop in the box and what I'm going to do for you all is just play a little snippet of his video in which he received that order and I'll let you see just how he felt about it. This is what it looks like right here. Look at that. I have not altered these boxes. I have not touched them. Just from the box where I had them till now to make the video to show you guys. That's it. I have not touched them. I, the ones that I fixed, I fixed it because of my daughter. But other than that, I have not touched these Funko Pops. I'm not trying. I'm, you guys know me. You guys have seen my videos. I've never done this before. I, you, you could always tell that my, my Funko Pops, even if I buy them, even if they have slight damage, I always get the bugs boxes. So to get something like this, it, it's, it, it, it's not something that I would do to damage anybody's reputation, whether it's a company or, or somebody from the Funko community. I call it how it is. I've always been like that. So I'm calling it how it is right now for Pop in a Box. This is how they look. This is how they sent them to me. All right, this is just how, th that, this is how it looked, just like this, and they were all smashed. Now think about it. How would you feel if you were in that man's shoes? Wouldn't you feel the same way if you were an inbox collector, out of box collectors, not talking to you right now, calm down, but inbox collectors, how would you feel about that? It's absolutely horrible. And I will link that full video down below. Please make sure that you do go check it out and make sure you also subscribe to the one and only Maximus Batson. And thank you good sir for sharing that clip with me, allowing me to use that within my video. Yes people, I did get permission, I did speak to him. That's the proper way to do it. And unfortunately, he is not the only poor soul that I'm aware of, somebody that I've interacted with who has had a horrible experience with pop in a box. Terrible shipping is not the only thing that they are known for. They also sometimes will send you things that you don't even want. Now on their site, you can actually take the time and you can go through and you can select all of the figures that you would like and you basically thumbs down everything that you would not like. So there should never be any confusion there. But it still happens, and it happened to Arya of Geek Girl World. Now, if you're not familiar with her, what I'm going to do once again, and I do have permission here because Arya is awesome and Geek Girl World is awesome, 
So again, make sure that you do check them out. Check out the full video, which I will link down below. And make sure you subscribe to Geek Girl World. But I am going to play a snippet of that video. And I want you to see what happened to this poor, innocent woman. I checked. No thanks on Dorbs. So why am I getting Dorbs? I checked no thanks. No thanks. I checked it. I like dwarves, but I like to get my own dwarves. <sighs> and I really, I got this for the pops. I got this specifically for the pops. So if I check no, no thanks, I shouldn't get any of that thing. According to Pop in the Boxes thing, I shouldn't get anything from that. But I did, which is very stupid. Okay. Oh, and I see a dwarf that I already have too. Oh my god, I'm good. I'm sick. I'm really sick. So I got Assassin's Creed Dorb. Assassin's Creed Dorb's figures. The horror. The horror. Just imagine that. You're not even a fan of the franchise. And not only do you get Assassin's Creed figures, you get Dorb's, which I know some people are just not a fan of. I happen to like them. They're not for everybody, though. So just imagine that you're strictly a pop collector and you don't like this franchise and that's all that you get. It should not happen that way. That should not happen with any company. Now, to be fair, to be fair, I have watched many unboxing videos for pop in the box and some people have had positive experiences. So I am not completely trashing this company. But I do want you to make sure that you look at the videos that I'm linking down below and look around at some more unboxings. Get an idea of what this company is like because I've heard other horror stories as well, such as people being billed for figures they didn't even receive. People being billed after they tried to cancel their subscription. People having a difficult time getting a human being from pop in a box on the phone to actually speak to somebody so think about it for yourself really think about it is it worth it and like i said some people have had good experiences sometimes there's a chance of a chase figure and some people have legitimately gotten chase figures from them but is it worth it in the long run based off of what you have just seen really think about it people because in my opinion my humble opinion i don't think it is worth it to receive such horrifying packages. Now, I do want to point out that, of course, there are some other companies that are guilty as well, such as companies like Toys R Us that will sometimes, and let me go ahead and throw another company in there, Barnes & Noble as well, that will sometimes send out pop figures in boxes with one little tiny bubble pouch. That doesn't do it. That one little air pouch is not going to protect that box you think they would have learned by now and again to be fair sometimes the shipping works out with those companies okay so it can be hit or miss and I do have one very real horrifying experience myself and it was not a particular company that was to blame and it really depends on how you look at it it was actually the post office oof I know that just sent a chill through some of you. Yes, the post office, USPS, they can be horrifying as well. I've heard of people seeing their packages tossed onto their porches just very careless, carelessly. So, yes, they can be guilty as well. I want to hear from you. What are your horrifying shipping experiences that you have had with Funko products? Share that down in the comments. And do believe me, I know that there are some horror stories within stores as well. FYE, I'm looking at you. I see you there creeping through the shadows. Yes, I see you, FYE, with your box damage, even for your exclusives. Shameful, very shameful. But I want to hear your stories. Drop those down in the comments. Make sure that you drop a like on this video. If you are new, make sure that you subscribe. And most importantly, people, stay safe and make sure that you keep your pop safe. Take care.